So the question is, what is Security Operation Center, SOC? Okay. So if you go to any company, right from the small size company to the big size company, definitely everybody is going to use the you know, various apparatus in their organizations. Apparatus means like the devices for securing uh, uh, their organization. If you go at the entrance of the organization, you have the perimeter devices like perimeter firewall, okay? You have sometimes for protection from uh, the attackers, you have uh, DDoS mitigation tools, okay? So DDoS mitigation tools you have, you have uh, uh, perimeter firewall, okay? Uh, uh, perimeter firewall. Okay. Uh, my spellings might be wrong. Just bear with it. And uh, also you'll be having some sort of, uh, you know, the uh, devices such as like IDS IPS in place. Okay. So IDS IPS might not be here. I'm just listing down where and all IDS IPS. Okay. You have, uh, uh you know, so many devices, correct, right? Like uh, same way antivirus tools are there, WAF tools are there, okay? So if you take like, you know, WAF tools will be there, okay, in some location. Say for example, in one location, there will be WAF tool will be there. Just inside the network, WAF tool will be there here. WAF, <clears throat> okay, so, on any application, you might be seeing uh, any, any uh, what do you say, any machine, you'll be seeing the antivirus tools as well. If you take it as an Windows machine, so you'll, 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 you'll see antivirus machines, okay? Uh, antivirus softwares in those machines, sorry. Antivirus softwares, okay? Uh, say, in a machine, uh, you will be having some kind of, you know, here, okay? It is installed, that is antivirus. Okay, and if the people are trying to, you know, do some kind of internet activity from internal to external, okay? All their internet traffic has to go through, you know, even though it has to go through, uh, uh, for recording purpose, who is doing what and all, but it is also used for whether the website is good or not. Like that is kind of, you know, proxy. That is a proxy device. So we have so many devices are there. Why we need SOC again in place? Okay, why, what, what these guys are doing? Okay, that's really very good, important uh, question uh, that in, come in, in any interview they might ask you. Okay, but the responsibility of the SOC team is C. Okay, if you are working as a security uh, operation center engineer, SOC engineer, then your responsibility is making sure, okay, your organization, uh, you know, the security posture is all the time is in a good state. Security post posture means in which state your security is uh, you know depicting okay from the sake from the perspective of the attackers or complaints or what i can say um, you know the uh, devices perspective see perimeter team is taking care of their own perimeter firewall team is taking care of their own firewall related uh, aspects from the security perspective ids team yes they are doing their own activity DDoS team, they are doing their own activity. WAF team, they are doing their activity. Proxy, they are doing their activity. AV team, they are doing their activity. But which particular team is going to take care of, you know, whether today I am, you know, attack wise, these are the attacks that I have received from the entire organization perspective. Okay. How many of them we have actually uh, mitigated? Yes, we can just install some tool. Okay, and see whether how many alerts we have received, all those things. But how you are going to do that? You need a team for that. That is security team, okay, which is having operations knowledge, okay? So one thing before uh, I would like to uh, say one thing, um, give me a uh, here, okay? Any organization, okay, build 
okay is the development team okay you know uh, test will be done by the testing teams and all okay our deploy and retest is will be done okay and maintenance will be done by operations team maintenance is operation or run okay like run okay so always uh, we are running some predefined scripts or anything if you think about it like writing the query we are monitoring whether ddos is perfectly working or example i'm just giving okay firewall is perfectly working or not ids is perfectly working or not av is working or not perfectly waf proxy because everyone is doing their own tasks or not also someone has to be there to you know to monitor as well that is also second use case not only the security posture of entire organization but the second part is whether the entire organization devices which are there to secure us are working as per our requirement or not if someone is like you know sleeping who is going to come to know that okay so that someone is you know is not awake i mean like is not awake and uh, uh, no one is going to con i mean like you know intimate it to someone correct right so that is the reason okay if you consider it as if like a uh, you know entire organization level security operation center team is responsible for okay always keeping track of the uh, you know the uh, complete security posture of the organization okay whether it is good or bad okay they have to you know respond to the ongoing continuous running it the, uh, 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 continuous running okay the scripts or you know some alerts or anything and responding if there are any alerts or anything incidents or anything you, they have to respond to them so we will be like you know knowing more about these things in some time okay so this is about basically what is the main responsibilities of the soc team the first team first thing is okay looking after uh, i'll be updating in one yeah here i'll be updating it okay looking after security posture of organization okay security posture of entire organization okay of entire organization okay and making sure the engineers here in this particular case it is sock engineers are responding to uh, are responding to the incidents related to okay org level impacts if it is like you know organization level if there is any impact then only you are going to uh, you know you should be in a position to respond example okay somewhere some some person has actually entered the wrong password five times or uh, more than you know four more than five times okay um then definitely there will be an alert okay uh, but are you going to uh, you know write a, the alert in a case for every five times failed attempts soc team coming into the picture no if you see multiple failed attempts okay on a single machine from multiple users that kind of a thing you are going to check in the sense multiple users are attempted within this uh, uh, you know uh, 10 uh, 15 minutes like the users are more than 5 years users and uh, all of them are failed attempts then that is a concerning factor if it is like you know more than 5 attempts also you are say someone has got usernames and they are going to try to uh, log in into my system so that is the concern it is not like one user if you are checking for you know within 5 minutes 5 uh, uh, logging fail attempts means that is not going to help 
either you are to the organization because you are wasting your time because like you know uh, that can be taken care by the IT team itself but it is not a security uh, posture related uh, feature which is organization level when you say multiple people are trying to log in uh, multiple usernames are used to do login attempts within 15 minutes and on a single machine and all of them are failed even though if it is just five failed failed, failed attempts okay and there is some other case okay on a single machine you have observed more than 20 failed login attempts more than 20 yeah there is a point of concern for you to jump in it is not just five okay so just remember as the type of scenario uh, based on the type of scenario you are you will be writing various kinds of uh, you know alerts okay so this is all about the you know what is security uh, operation center and uh, what kind of operations they uh, do